Hey there Valley Hounds, how you doing today? I want to talk to you about something real important about how to get out of and around obstacles, right? How do you get around them? Uh, you'll be working in your business and at some point in time something's going to surprise you. You're going to have an obstacle. You got to get around that obstacle. You got to make it around it and we call that a design opportunity. So I'm going to explain what a design opportunity is today. And I'm also going to share some some stories with you. My uncle and my my my, uh, my dog. It's kind of a smelly it's a smelly deal, but I wanted to share that with you. We come across. I got this little guy right here. This is a gremlin. This is a, this is I, I talk about this in my my new book about about how to get over the wall of pain. The gremlins are sitting on the wall of pain, and this is this is what stops people from getting around obstacles and they give up and quit because they don't think they can get around it. So we're going to talk about how to get around obstacles. My, my uncle, who I learned this from, he, he, um, he works in woodwork, right? He turns wood. They, they, they turn wood. They make beautiful art out of it. But every time he works on a, on a, on a project, he finds that some breaks or something, something doesn't go right. He's got to get a, he has to do a workaround, a workaround. He's got to figure out how can I get around this and still make this thing look great and that says so that nobody knows it so so I learned that they call that the design opportunity he told me this is called a design uh, design opportunity in the word working space so I stole that that name it could be it's 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 a very very profound uh, uh, name and it, it says a lot that it's a design opportunity to get around and make this this better so uh, I was, uh, about 20, 25 years ago, I had a little fourplex, you know, a little small property. And I wanted to go home and, and watch the, the election. So I collected the rent, and they all pay in cash, so I just got cash. And I got the cash, and I went home, and I walked in the door, and I'm walking back, and I think, you know what, I'm, I'm hungry. I want to go out and get something to eat. So... What I did was I took the money, about two thousand dollars cash, uh, they pay in cash, and I I took it and I put it in my closet in a in a pocket, a, a pocket right there, and uh, so I decided to run to Taco Bell, right? Most of you don't like Taco Bell, but but I do because uh, you know it's not Mexican food, it's not American food, it's just Taco Bell. So I, I, I did that, went out, got my Taco Bell, brought it back, threw it on the table, turned the TV on, and I looked over my closet, and I see money slaughtered all over, slaughtered all over the place. And it's my dog. He got into the, he could smell the money, he got into the pocket, and ripped it out and started eating it. So I got pieces of, of money all over the place. And I, I stop it, and I grab all the money, and I put it, put it on the upper table where the dog couldn't get to. And I thought, what am I going to do now, man? This is this is not good. He just ate all 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 my most of the money. I thought. So what I decided to do is sit down and figure out my options. Right? I got a design opportunity here. What am I going to do? Can I do I just blow it off and say, okay, it's not that much money? Do I do I you know clean it out, go out there and and, and pick up the poop and and recreate this and put it all back together and so what I decided to do was hey I'm gonna go out there and every time the dog goes poop in the morning I'm going out and I'm gonna go out there and take a plastic bag and a fork a plastic fork and, I, and every time he goes to the bathroom I'm gonna go scoop it up so I did it and, I, and every time I scooped it up I'd go in the house and I get in front of the kitchen sink and I would pull out the poop I turn the water on and start cleaning it off. <laughs> How's that? A little stinky. Uh, and then every, every uh, all this, all the pieces of money I, I got from cleaning it off, I would put it on the table. I had a table out there. So here I got all these pieces of 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 money all over the place, and it becomes a big puzzle. So this this happened over about four days, and so what I did was I just got on there and I started putting it together like a puzzle. I got tape out and. I got, you know, there's there was a whole hundred dollar bill in there. There was pieces of, of fifty dollar bills, and 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 I was worried that the bank wasn't going to take it. 
but I put it all together and you know because it went through the water and it went through a process the money that I had the two thousand dollars was about that high but when I got done it was about this high because it had swollen up from the water so I packaged it all up and I put it together and I take it to the bank and I put it in the envelope and it, when I put it in the envelope the I go up to the teller and I didn't tell her I should have told, told her but I didn't so I gave it gave it, pulled out the money and gave it to her and I said here you go and so she started counting like you know you count like that and I go oh man I should and then she, she, she got another envelope and she she put it in the envelope and she licked the env envelope so that that was that was my little uh, escapade on learning how to how to come around or get around to obstacles and the design opportunity I want you guys to understand a design opportunity is important to your life to your life even in your business I want you to focus on when you come up with it with an obstacle how am I going to get around it? how what are my options to get around it? and you're going to pick the best one that has the highest uh, reward with low risk and you're going to do it right and so that was mine so anyways uh, I want you to focus on getting around obstacles I want you to be alert I want you to be active I want you to, to you know be assertive I want you to be you know have your game face on you can get around these obstacles you don't need to quit right so so focus on the design opportunity I hope this uh, serves you. I've given you a lot of good information here that's helped me out a lot. And uh, if you need more information on, you know, syndication, on life and business, uh, join the uh, uh, valuehuntacademy.com. It's just free to free, and they've got all kinds of articles on there. So thank you so much. See you around.